Hey guys, so let's go over those questions that were at the end of the last episode about exponents. First up, we have 3 to the 0 times 2 plus 1 times 8 squared. So if you remember the order of operations, what we need to do first are the exponents, since there are no parentheses here. So 3 to the 0, anything to the 0 power is always going to be 1 times 2 plus 1 times 8 squared, which is 64. Then we do multiplication before we do the addition, so we need to do this first, which is 1 times 2, which is 2, plus this, which is 1 times 64, which is 64. Then we add them up, and we get 66. Next up, we have 2 to the 4th power times 2 squared, in parentheses, plus 5 times 2. So the first thing we need to do is everything in the parentheses. And here we have exponents, so we need to do those first within the parentheses. So 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, times 2 squared, 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 5, times 2. Next, we do everything in the parentheses. So 16 times 4 is 64, plus 5 times 2. Then we have to do multiplication before we can add. So 5 times 2 is 10. And 64 plus 10 gets us 74. All right, on to the next question. We've got 2 squared to the 4th power plus 3 minus 10 plus 2 to the 4th power. So going by the order of operations, we would want to do the parentheses first, which is 2 squared, which gets us 4 to the fourth power. Now you could do this this way, or if you remember some of the shortcuts regarding exponents, you could take 2 squared and multiply the exponent 2 by the exponent on the outside here, 4, which would get you 2 to the eighth power. 2 to the eighth power is the same as 4 to the fourth power, so either way you'll get the same answer. So just moving forward with 4 to the fourth power, plus 3 minus 10 plus 2 to the fourth. Next, following order of operations, we'd want to do exponents. So we have 4 to the 4th power, which is 4 times 4, which is 16, times 4 is 64, times 4, which is 256, plus 3, minus 10, plus 2 to the 4th power, which is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16. Now we have addition and subtraction here, so we can just go left to right. So 256 plus 3 is 259, minus 10 plus 16, and then we get 249 plus 16, which gets us 5, 6, 265. Finally, on to the last question, we've got 2 to the 4th power divided by 2 squared plus 5 squared. Now if you remember some of the shortcuts regarding exponents, you could take 2 to the 4th and 2 to the 2nd, and since they have the same bases, you can subtract these exponents from each other. So that leaves you with 2 to the 2nd power. 4 minus 2 is 2, plus 5 squared. 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, and that gets us 29. All right, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys found it helpful, and if you did, feel free to give this video a like, and leave me any questions or comments below or on Twitter. I will be coming out with more content in the future, so feel free to subscribe to stay on top of those new videos.